So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Linux box here, Linux computer. And also I will open another Windows version with old, but it still, I just want to show you uh, this example only, right? So then what I'm going to do is just, uh, this is my Windows machine. I'm going to open a uh, command line here. Let's make it bigger so then you can understand this one. So this is a Windows machine. Let's say system info. So it will give you information related to this Windows machine and it uses uh, Windows uh, XP, right? Quite old operating system, but uh, I have all the tools here. That's why I'm just still using it, right? So this is the one. And there we have a tool called, right? So we have a tool called Netcat. Netcat can be used in any operating system. So let me show you how to create a backdoor first. So Netcat is not a malicious tool. You can download directly from internet. So if you go to internet, so you can download Netcat, netcat.exe. Yeah, exactly, Hacker Swiss Army. Uh, you can use uh, this tool. It's actually Swiss, Swiss Army knife or Swiss Army of attackers. So that is that has very uh, uh, important one. Uh, so this is Netcat. You can download this from here. So what I'm going to do is here. My IP is IP config. So it's 10.10.10.5. I will try to ping uh, some other IP to see whether my system is working. Yeah, it's working now. What I'm going to do is now I'm going to run Netcat in C. And I'm going to create a listener using a port called uh, 12345. I will explain these later, the ports and all that. And then I'm going to run, I'm going to execute cmd.exe once connected. So that's what I would do now. Let's say this one and uh, let me check the IP address first. So IP is 10.10.10.5. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say netcat going to create a listener and then we will create a uh, port using this port port is one two three four you can use any port and then I'm going to execute it cmd.exe so I run this one so once I run this one this is my windows machine I'm going to my linux machine here and linux also has been built in uh, netcat so let me just access my linux machine and then I'm going to do is I'm just going to open a terminal here and then I'm going to say netcat. I'm going to use 10.10.10.5 and then 1234. Once you do that, you would see now from a Linux machine, I connected to uh, uh, I connected to a Windows uh, machine. Right, so I'm not going to do reverse shell or blind shell. So that is actually Metasploit frame, Metasploit stuff. So I will explain this on the second day, but it is very simple. So we just run netcat. You can do using multiple ways, but we connected that one. So once you connected, you can do a lot more stuff. Now we are on Windows machine. I can run now IP config, which is Windows command, not Linux one. So if I use, if I open up another terminal, another terminal here, this is Linux. If I type IP config, it would say, Command not found, but now I run same command on same terminal, but since I'm executing it on Windows, it shows it run, I can run any Windows command. Even I can use MK, let's say, let's go back here, and I'm gonna say MKDIR, uh, today is uh, 0205-2021. I created this directory, so I can go into the same directory by 05, 2021 I can do that and even I can use create a user net user at let's say the username is let's say 12052021 user with let's say my password is pa dollar dollar w0 already I created the user I can create a user and even I can add the user net uh, local groups group add administrators i'm going to add this user to an administrator so one zero zero five 
2021 user. I added the user. So pretty much you can do anything from a Linux machine on the Windows machine. So that is what known as maintaining access. I hope you understand. This is a small demonstration. You can do that as well. Uh, yeah, Linux IP was 10.10.10.7, .10 correct? And the Windows machine is 10.10.10.5. So then if I go to a, a Windows machine, you would see uh, this is still running. That is how I connected there. And then if I open up my uh, you know, uh, computer, so if I go to C drive, you would see this folder I just created, right? And then if I go to uh, my computer, manager, sorry, manager, so you would see, if you go to local users, I have created this user here, 0205 one user. And if you go to groups, administrators, I have added this user there remotely I got administrative access now even you can enable RDP and you can connect you can take RDP session right so you have I hope you understand so in that way uh, attackers can uh, maintain the access so that is what it uh, does here